Let's factor the equation x squared plus 12x minus 45 equals 0. So the first thing we want to do is set up a skeleton equation. So I've already done that here. When we have our skeleton equation, now we can add the signs. So it looks like we have a positive and a negative. So if the last term is negative, we're going to put a positive and a negative in our skeleton equation, like this. Next, we want to find the factors for the last term. That's the negative 45 there, and they should add up to the middle term. So these are the factors for 45. So I can see 3 times 15. That'll give me the 45. And the difference between 3 and 15, that's going to be 12. So what I think I'll do is I'll put the 15 here, because 15 times x, that'll give me 15x. And the 3, I'll put that here, because this x times 3 is negative 3. So that'll give me the 12x. Let's check this with the FOIL method. First, outside, inside, and last. That gives us, and you can see we have the negative 3x and the 15x. When we add these together, negative 3x and 15x, we get 12x. We also have our negative 45 and our x squared. So this is the exact same thing as we started with. So we factored this equation, x squared plus 12x minus 45, correctly. Let's take a moment, find the values for x. We put them in the equation here. It'll make this side equal 0. That'll be a true statement. So I could say x plus 15 equals 0. Subtract 15 from both sides. x equals negative 15. Over here, x minus 3 equals 0. Add 3 to both sides. x equals 3. If you put 3 in for x and you do the math, this side here will all equal 0. Likewise, if you put negative 15 in for x, and you do the math, the side all equals zero. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these exact same answers here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 12x minus 45. Thanks for watching.